period of time after taking a hit from behind from the Storm yesterday. Teach turned it over right corner. It's chipped in front by the Storm. Clearance kept in high slot. McTaggart blasts one right off. And the rebound, they score! That's Adam Boyting getting to that one off the giveaway at the side of the net. It's the Storm. It's a power play here for the Mon. Their first of the game. Left half boards. Whitmer put one cross ice. How's your fires? What a save by Kobanovsky! Against Fort McMurray. Their power play is just 12.5% this year. Two for 16 on the season series. Puck carried in right wing by the Storm. And a long dump-in goes wide left of the net. Came to the near corner. Wittenberg trying to clear it ahead to Pooley, who sweeps it to the blue line. Kept in left point. Labbe put it high slot. One-timer. The Rock scores! Red Prairie doubles the lead. Just 23 seconds into the power play. They're up 2-0. And we're not even seven minutes into this game. One with a 145 goals against and a save percentage of .947. Barons win the draw. Graham cuts the left half boards. Fires a bad angle shot off a stick. Rebound. Fraser scores! And the Barons get right back in it. Again, just directing the puck at the net. Here's a puck square three to the right wing half boards. LaRock pinching it. Has a step on Houcher to the right circle. He shoots. Great save, Gillette. Rebound shot saved again by Gillette. Or country933.com. Turnover by the mob in the slot to force. He fires and a great save by Gillette. But what a gift by the mob there. By number three of the Storm, despite being knocked out of the play. Then it's center ice. Devin Cates gets run over by Alex Cromwell. Who lean out of center ice. Barons have a two-on-one. Carried in left wing by House to the circle. Fires it over the net and off the end glass. Doesn't get a call for it. Barron sent it the other way. Dawes poking it ahead to Fraser. Justin Fraser on a breakaway. Backhander. What a save. Komodowski. He got the left pad out. To deny Justin Fraser a second. Then Houcher right circle. Fan on a shot. Got back to it in the slot. And shot it over the net. And Here now is Houcher over the line. Right wing with Fraser. To the right circle. Dangles around his man. Side of the net. He shot it off the side of the cage. To center ice. Lave got it ahead. And it's a three on two. Carried in. Put to the slot for Thudium. Drops one back. Lave out of his reach. Got back to it. And a turnaround shot is blocking away by Tanner Gillette. Then a shot left down for saved by Gillette. Scrambling in front of the net. Everybody down there poking in the puck and they score! The Storm take a 3-1 to one lead as the Barons can't clear it out from the blue paint. Line and Houcher picked it off. Carries in right side for the mob and shoots one. Save. Rebound. Fraser jamming at it but cannot get a good shot in. Wing for Milnthorpe. His feed up to Brett Prince, the far half boards. He'll backhand one ahead. That's off a stick. Came to Prince. He turned it over. Here come the Barons. A feed in front. Houcher's all alone. Dangles. Fires. Scores! As the Barons find Jetlin Houcher all alone in front, he makes no mistake with a forehand shot past Kolmanovsky with a penalty coming up. The Barons won't need the power play as they convert with 6.05 to go in the second period. Jetlin Houcher now with nine goals as the Baron, and they're back within one. And here comes Dylan Thudium, a partial two-on-one. He'll carry him down the middle. Flick it left wing for a one-time pass by Boyting to the right wing. It was out of the reach of Dylan Thudium. And then a real dumb play by him as he gets a stick right up into the face of one of the Barons. And Taylor Graham was back to Graham mid-blue line. He'll feed it right half-boards to Fraser. Barron set up. Put it right corner to Houcher. Fed it through the slot. There's Dawes. Scores! What a pass by Jetlin Houcher! Sets up Hayden Dawes for the perfect backdoor opportunity. Nothing Nick Kolonovsky could have done on that one. And once again, Hayden Dawes, his fourth goal against GP on the season series. And we're all knotted up. It's 3-3 here in GP. Center Baskerville turns it over to Wittenberg. He'll put it to the opposing blue. It's carried in by Peterson. Cutting left circle. Shooting it over the net and off the end glass. Peterson to the left half towards. Holds it. Put it in front, off the skate, and Darkey and almost went into the net. Heaving his way as Graham put one up the middle to Dawes, who carries in. Nice little move around the skates of his teammate, Fraser. Shoots one right on. The rebound. Houcher shoots. Scores! Houcher does it again. Off of Hayden Dawes' masterful play to get around the skates of his teammate, Fraser. The shot comes through. Goes off of Kolmanovsky. Houcher collects at the right side of the net. Puts it into the back of the cage. And Fort McMurray has completed the comeback. Taking its first lead of the night. Up the far side where Tanner Labbe takes it back. Trying to get it out. But a nice hit by Cromwell on the forecheck. Jams it free. And the Barons keep it. Evans Campbell left point. Blast a slapper wide. Rebound. And Wilcox fans on it in front of a yawning cage. Corner. And in behind the net. Boyd's into the right wing corner. Put it in front. Labbe fires it wide left of the net. He was wide open in the high slot. 91 seconds to go. Storm go with an empty net and an extra attacker with a face off in the mob zone one by the storm Matthew scores off the crossbar and in right off the draw Ryan Matthews slaps it from a high slot it rings iron and knocks the game up with just two seconds gone since the timeout. Turn it over to Wilcox with five seconds, and he'll just put it down the dasher with two seconds to go. We're heading to overtime here at the Canada Games Arena. 
skates in two on two. Marion Chuck winds, fires wide right of the net. And this could be trouble. It's going to wrap around all the way down into mob territory. Wittenberg in a race against Matthews. He's hit hard by Matthews in the near corner, who takes possession of the puck at the left half boards. Slips away from Wittenberg, down to the bottom of the left circle. Centering, shot scores! Scott Miltharp left completely unmarked at the right side of the mob net. Chips one in back door, and the score.